Yeah, yeah man. That ain't the same brother. BCD! Free that man! Yeah! 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 Beat that body! Beat that body! Beat that body! Oh, folks, still look the two beat the bodies! <laughs> oh, folks, man! Show your face! Show your face, please! With sugar on top! Hey, what's up, y'all? Y'all know my slogan. I don't know it all, but I know what I've been through. Now, before we get into this video, please make sure you head on down to Instagram and follow us on our official Instagram page at hookahanonymous underscore. All right? We're able to be a little more explicit, a little more uncensored, and share content freely without running the risk of having our channel terminated. So, once again, Make sure you head on down to Instagram and follow us on our official Instagram page at Hookah Anonymous underscore. All right. Now, let's get into what you guys came here to see. Now, in a new episode of How in the Hell Did That Happen? We have OTF and Lil Durk affiliate OTF Didi. Now, I'll tell you why I said that later on in the video. However, today was a good day for Didi as we learned that he just beat a long lasting case for murder and attempted murder. A case that he caught in 2014 and was fighting until this day, he would take to his Instagram story to celebrate another chance at life as he would say, quote, I just received that not guilty verdict, murder and an attempt murder. Now, clearly I didn't read it the way it was typed. I don't know what's going on over there in that OTF circle, but it seems like no one has proper grammar skills when it comes to typing or writing anything. If y'all remember when Lil Durk was going back and forth with NBA Youngboy, fans was pointing out that his grammar skills or lack thereof, as he would misspell and have a bunch of run-on sentences, you know, kind of confusing everybody, but that's neither here or there. Now, when it comes to OTF Didi and the case he was fighting, it was alleged that Didi was a suspect behind the murder of Shields member King Travis back in 2012. In 2014, OTF Didi was picked up for the case and would be charged with murder and attempt murder and would sit in prison until 2019 when he would be bonded out by Lil Durk for $90,000 and we've seen him hanging around the OTF guys ever since. Now, I understand that Chicago is different in many ways, so I'm told when you are handed a bond for murder in Chicago, 9 times out of 10, that means they have a weak case against you and don't have much evidence to convict or whatever the case may be. However, the laws that I'm used to, once you're picked up for murder, there's no bail. There's no bond, there's no nothing. You gotta sit it out. And the reason is, is because it's so heavy of a charge that police feel if they do give you a bail or bond and they release you, you may become a flight risk, meaning you would try to escape or go into some type of hiding, flee the country or whatever, and then they may not ever be able to convict you again. So when I see guys get a bond or bail for murder, it's kind of shocking. But like I said earlier, Chicago laws, especially when it comes to guns, are very, very different. Now, keep in mind, this is a case all the way from 2012 that Didi was facing since 2014 up until this day. That's nine whole years of not knowing what the people are going to do with your life and you having to stay clear of any type of trouble and not get caught committing any crime. Now, he's been out on bail since 2019, so that's four whole years he's been out on bail, and no one really knew because he was walking around regular. Whole time, he was walking on eggshells because when you're out on bail, sometimes you got restrictions. You can't go to certain places. You can't do certain things. And um, not to mention, you can't come into contact with police at all. Um, You definitely can't catch a new charge because once you do that, now they kind of convict you. I think that's what they was doing too. Because usually when they wait, if they knew they didn't have no evidence or anything to really convict them, they could have let them go a long time ago. But sometimes that's how the police play. They wait in, in hopes that you get in some type of trouble again. So now the case that you caught before, they could just give you that time on top of whatever the, case, the new case was that you caught. You know, they just hope that you get in trouble a lot of the time. So I think that's what that was in this case. But fortunately for him, he ain't getting any trouble. Now, Lil Durk made plenty of references to DDB in his case, and his most recent one came on his song Before Faja off his latest album Almost Hill, 
when he said, quote, whenever Deesky beat his murder, he gonna be more and more dangerous. The way these killers get on the net, you would think it's no more gangsters. All right, so y'all know when anything positive on the internet comes some type of negative as you would have fans and others responding to posts speaking about Lil Durk putting up a whole 90,000 for Didi, but put nothing up for Rondo and I forgot the other guy. Um, but honestly, if I'm not mistaken, their cases was a little more different. You know, one of them had Bill. I forgot who. I just remember when people were talking about Dirk should bail him out or whatever. I forgot who it was, man. Y'all let me know in the comments. Um, however, what guys feel to realize is this. Despite what y'all see, I'm not saying Dirk have it or he don't have it because I don't know the man pockets. But when y'all sit here and expect him to bail out everyone around him every time they go to jail, it's just not realistic. <laughs> Simple. And even if he could, it's just not a smart decision because you'll go broke very quick trying to bail out all your mans that constantly get in trouble. You know, with this one, with that one, and that one. And if you don't do it for that one, he may feel the way and it's too much. All right. But on the flip side, aside from all the speculation and negativity, Rondo actually reached out and congratulated DD for beating the case on Instagram as he would repost a video of DD getting out the courtroom and it said, quote, my brother just smoked that murder. And DD would repost it and respond saying, quote, can't wait till you free, little bro. So clearly there's no hatred amongst them. You know, no matter how much the fans may speculate and you know, throw so into the game. It seems like these guys are cordial and they're not letting the fans or anybody get to them. Now, I know it may be bittersweet for Rondo, given his circumstance, but as a man, he still congratulated the next man despite his situation. You see what I'm saying? So, like I said, it's hard because he's in his situation where he's fighting his case. He's been down for a long time. And to see, you know, another person get out, deep down inside, you like, damn, I wish that was me. You know, of course, we all would if we was in that circumstance. Nobody wants to be locked up. No matter what, I don't care the toughest person, no matter what they say, nobody wants to be locked up. It's not about being scared. It's not about none of that. It's just the fact that you're restricted from doing certain things. You can't go places. <laughs> no women. The food sucks. Everything. So, like I said, it's, it's more of a mental thing when you in there, man. You got to stay strong regardless to what. And you got to stand on your, you know, your own, too. So um, when it comes to everything, congrats to Didi for beating the body and everything, man. Let's hope he continue moving smart so he don't go through another situation like this. Now, so far, um, we've seen everybody from um, Walk. We've seen everybody, Bezu, every, literally everybody that's associated with OTF. Congratulate um, your boy Didi for beating the body and everything. We haven't seen any response from Lil Dirk, but, you know, it is what it is. Um, that's pretty much it, man. Y'all jump in the comments. Let me know how y'all feel about this. How y'all feel about OTF DD and being that body. He actually says some slick stuff and, you know, kind of hating towards whatever. But at the end of the day, you know, there's no, um, there's no retrials once a verdict is out there. So I guess he good, man. But I would stay safe, y'all. All right. Y'all jump in the comments. Let me know how y'all feel about this. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Hit that bell so you're notified every time we drop new content. And remember, as long as you keep on watching, I'm going to keep on dropping. And I'm out.